it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. This is gonna be a quick, quick tutorial on how to handle something when you go to weld it and the little bubbles on the inside fill up. For instance, like happy birthday and the little, um, the little space inside the A, the P, the D, you know what I'm talking about. So they fill up. I'm gonna show you how to quickly um, do a workaround for that. Uh, but also before I do that, if you haven't subscribed, please do. And then, thank you. <laughs> and my other announcement is today is the 13th of March. And so on joannes.com, you can actually order the hat press, which is a new product. And the other new product product is the easy press three, which I have. So let me show you. Um, I got this little guy right here. It's not so little. It's the 12 by 10. So anyway, I'm going to link the Instagram reel and the TikTok video in case you uh, don't already follow my two, uh, you know, my two accounts there, then you can see my new HTV hack as well. All right, so let's get started on this little guy here. Um, let's go to text and I'm going to do, I was working on something and it was the Amelia font. And so I'm going to go and, oops, we're going to redo it. I'm going to walk you through it. So here's the text box. And I typed in, because I'm doing cards for cubs for Barely Art. So if you want to check that out, you can check that out as well. Um, pledge some cards, make some happy birthday cards for foster kids. And of course, you know, do good, feel good. All right. So here we go. Um, this is happy birthday. You want to weld it, right? Otherwise, you're going to have cuts. Each one of these letters are going to cut individually. So let me show you what that looks like right now. So if you go to weld it. Did you, if you notice, the A closed up, the P's are fine, but the D and the A over here closed up as well. What I see a lot is in the Facebook groups and then also like people will comment here and there. And the first response is, your letters are too close. Yes and no. I don't wanna move my letters further apart just so that this doesn't happen. So let's undo this for a second. The first thing that you can, that you should do is grab the whole thing, okay, and under width, I don't know, go to 40. It's gonna be ginormous, right? But also, while we're doing this, you see how the H cuts into the, the A cuts into the H, it's not continuous. So that's why we weld it, okay? So now we're gonna weld it, take a look at what happens, see that little line disappears, and now it just flows through, okay? So this is our workaround, the A didn't close up, right? And then you can bring it back to whatever sizing that you want. And now it's perfect, the D is fine, the A is fine. Um, you could also technically move it, and that works sometimes, and sometimes, you know, it looks okay to do that, so let me show you what I'm talking about. This is a response that is very typical in the other groups, okay? So I'm gonna make it really big so that we can see it. So. If we ungroup this, we can make this H further out. But see, further out, it's gonna look weird. That little stem is gonna stick up. I mean, I guess if you did this, you could do something like that. Oh, but no, it's popping out on the other side. Okay, so let's see if that helped the A. Now we can grab that and we can weld it. Nope, it's still too close. So we can undo it. We can move it. I mean, we can move it to something like this, but I don't like the way that looks. Okay, so that works, but look, it shouldn't be like that. My H should be closer, right? So that that workaround will work in some situations. In this one, I personally don't like the way it looks. I would rather make it super big, weld it, because that looks more like the correct handwriting. In fact, I could probably move the D closer to the A, it feels like there's like a little a hair strand too much right <laughs> same thing with the H I could actually move it in even further if I wanted to so let's undo this for a second okay so here's my H right I actually want to make it like oh I see it pops out over here you know sometimes like this not all fonts like okay actually that looks you can make this slightly smaller and no one would notice it and you can still make those adjustments. Now this flows a lot better, right? So I'm gonna make this ginormous, weld it. Oh, not big enough apparently. Grab this. I'm gonna go back to the 40. 
weld it. Oh my goodness. Now we're just messing around. So normally that would work, right? Um, let's undo that for a second. Let's see, this, is this grabbed? No. Hold on. Undo it. Okay. Let's make this smaller so we can see it. Okay. So it's saying at 40, it's still... Let's see if this works. Let's weld it at a hundred. Okay, so at a hundred inches, it's good. So my hack works there. Um, that's all there is to it. Make it really big, weld it, and then um, and then shrink it back to the size that you need. That was super fast, right? Super easy. That is the best way to do it. Because like I said, the other way, moving things around to make it not so close, that works for some letters for some fonts, but not always. So I don't really like that one. I prefer to just make it bigger. All right, let me know what you wanna see, other things that you've seen that maybe you need a solution to, um, all of that. I'm here for it. We read through all the comments. See you guys later.